Hello everyone. Oh, uh, is my mic sounding good? Hello everyone. If the music's too loud, I can turn it down. Okay. Just give me a couple more seconds. Okay. I'm gonna start up the stream now. Uh, so today's plan is it's going to be an exploit stream and I'm going to be working on the perimeter walls. Thank you, Harry. A lot. Okay, there we go. So currently, Nexus has filled in the entire area with. Um, the hexagons Oh, yeah, I did used to have 69 levels, but I used it um, For some renaming of some shulker boxes So I'm currently working on this area right here, which is our end portal and uh, Going to be our nether portal I set up a beacon here, but um, that's not what I'm going to be doing today. So uh, this is our perimeter wall design, and these will be filled in with three different kinds of white. So uh, it's going to be concrete, concrete powder, and wool. Now they kind of do look weird because of my redstone texture pack, but that gives us a pretty cool um, effect that gives it a bit of variation and makes the wall look less repetitive and a lot nicer. I'm gonna sleep to get rid of the rain. Let's see, is there a bed over here still? Oh. Okay, there's a villager there for some reason. Just cover him up. Um, let me just get a bed. Should have one in here. Yep. Oh, it's not nighttime yet. Guess I'll wait until it becomes night. Yeah, sorry about the lag. Actually, I'm gonna turn down the render distance a bit. So there's a bit less lag. This 
should be a bit better now. Um, I'm planning for the stream to be at least two hours. I want to get a pretty good amount of these walls done. Uh, this is streaming. There's a bit of lag on the server right now. So that is this layer done. So there is a pattern. To what material we use so the pattern goes concrete concrete powder and then wool um, you're still setting up a wool farm so we don't have wool. that's why it's empty and then it's the same materials uh, vertically so these three are all concrete and then um, for example this one would all be concrete powder and this creates a very nice effect um, that you might have seen in the thumbnail and I also did hide some uh, water elevators down here. Well, they're not really water elevators, uh, just bu bubble columns without any water. So it looks better, because, you know, why not? If you don't need water, just put the bubble columns. And then this way is just, you drop some water to get rid of fall damage. So let's start working on these walls. Actually out of concrete powder. So we have a concrete duper in the end and this is where all the items flow down. And this is, oh, looks like are we mostly out of concrete already? Oh, nope, there's some in here. So let me just get rid of some of this stuff. Um, don't really need, um, don't need this either. And just burn it all. Let's grab some concrete powder. So the original idea came from um, Navy Nexus and then um, some of our new builders improved the design by adding the color variations and that's basically how this design was created and I thought it would be cool if we can add a nether portal here. Um, we might change these, to, um, these two to purple to uh, make it stand out less. Uh, we don't know about that yet. Now I need to fill these hexagons here with concrete powder.
And um, in case anyone is wondering, um, our next big project after this spawn perimeter, which is actually getting pretty close to being finished, is going to be removing the nether roof of our nether area. Um, and the reason why we have to do, uh, do that um, quickly is because um, removing the nether um, I mean bedrock using snow layers is um, uh, broken. So we want to do this before bedrock updates to 1.16. Oh, whoops. Yeah, I'll change the description. Did not mean to copy the entire thing. I just usually have it on a text file, but I must have forgot to take it out. Take out the original description. Um, let's see. If I can change it. Um. Uh, it doesn't look like I can really change it uh, while the stream is going unless I turn it off. So I guess I'll just leave it as that until the stream's over. So the next thing that we have is going to be concrete over here. Let's just fly up. start filling this in with concrete hello Sav hello fizzy yeah long time no see fizzy how are you doing Here a zombie, I don't know exactly where it is, but Let's see if I can kill it. Hello Lego Lego Obi Wan. I'm doing pretty good. I've actually been playing a lot of Minecraft recently, a lot more than I usually play. Now that it's summer vacation, I don't really have to worry about school anymore. <laughs> ah yes, those are the days. I did have a uh, slight survival Minecraft um, burnout after glitching down into the void two times in a row. <laughs> That's pretty much what ended me playing survival for a while. Um, I need a lot more concrete. gonna go to the end dimension now oh I missed a block I have to go back and get that.
These fireballs have been here since the very beginning of the surfer and they keep on appearing and never despawn. It's pretty annoying. So this is our just temporary uh, concrete converter. I'm just gonna use the touch screen on my laptop because it's easier to click. Uh oh, looks like something broke. Um, let's see, let me look back at the stream to see what actually happened. Bit confused. Oh, I think I know what happened. I think I placed a block here, and then it caused the water to flow out. Um, uh -oh, oh, nope, the redstone's fine. Didn't flow down. Phew. There it goes. Let me just pull out my auto clicker. There we go. Um, currently, I'm making um, some uh, concrete for our perimeter walls. So basically how this works is uh, once there's a block here, um, the torch can power uh, these over. Actually, I'm just going to put all this powder in here so it feeds it to me automatically. Then once it reaches here, these all get pushed over and the signal comes over to uh, the snowball dispenser that has a snow golem so and once the wither gets damaged um, it breaks all blocks uh, in a 4x4x4 four by four by four radius and that's what breaks the concrete And um, I've been wondering, um, do you guys want to see a lot more exploit content or would you rather have um, high, higher quality exploit content um, but way less often? Because I can make a lot more videos on exploit, they just won't be um, as interesting as I want them to. Um, they'll be like a lot of smaller and smaller projects and shorter videos. But um, who knows, people might like to see that. Um, I'm pretty much planning to like reserve that kind of stuff, um, kind of like how ne Navy Nexus does it, to streams. Hello, Teratar. Oh, 
But this should be enough concrete for now. I think we have some more down here. Um, okay, there's some in there. Oh, okay. Navy Nexus must have AFK'd here. I just grab as much as I can. And let's see. Grab one of these extra shulker boxes. Just start filling this up. Just wrong one. Oh, okay, so I guess I will uh, reserve smaller projects um, for streams And uh, yes, this is a uh, Multi tree farm. I don't know who it's by but uh, we've built this uh, it Might be prudies um, That's my guess, um, but we just repurposed its wither chamber for concrete conversion this and go back just break this put this back in my utility box looks like I'm missing some things in my utility box I don't know exactly what but oh well guess I'll find out sooner or later so Where's the hexagon? I missed a block. Aha, there it is. Uh, territory, you do. Um, yeah, I don't know why there is um, a roof. Um, probably will. Yeah, that will decrease efficiency. I'm pretty sure Lee built it. These perimeter walls are beautiful. What do you mean, Tear? Oh, I got it. But I placed an extra one. No. So, um, some other plans for the hexagons are reserving some of these for smaller farms. So maybe some zero tech ones that we might use occasionally. Um, that's still just an idea. We also want to create an area where um, each player can have their own bed and um, other things. So like a player hall. Because we currently don't really have 
a bed that we use now. I've just been using the one by the villager hall that we still have for some reason. And there we go. Let's go to the next one. We don't want to live like ants. We want to live like bees. Yep, exactly, Sav. Uh, that is a good point since we are a communist surfer. Maybe we can just have one gigantic bed. It's a long one. Uh, Walking Man 93. No, this is um a private whitelisted server. But we did add a few um new members recently. You may have noticed um some new people in the Discord. Um. We added two new builders, and we also added uh, Gecko, and I think 77 Tigers and Hazel. I don't know where that Enderman came from. Am I already out of concrete? Oh, that was quick. Just grab a ton more. Um, let's see, we don't need that string. Yeah, Gecko, um, uh, he's the one that made the binary decoder that we use. Oh, hello, Gecko. Oh no. I think Gecko meant, um, uh, Jade.
Hi, Creeper. Why are there so many mobs down there? Just die, all of you. You're lagging the server. Oh no, I hit the pigman. How did that miss? Oh man. Ah! There are a lot more in there than I thought. Why bedrock despawning sucks? Come on, stop moving. Now you stop. There you go. You die. You die. There's still some more in there. Why are you in there? There are so many mobs. Uh oh, I'm drowning. Uh, I'm surprised we haven't got any tridents. Um. Oh no, wait. I did get one. Let me just repair my tools. And there's still another one. Um, it's a move in the right direction, but it can definitely, definitely get improved. The actual concept isn't bad, it's just the values for um, the circles need to be changed. So, as long as that gets fixed, it's pretty neat. I still prefer a cylinder so that um, instead of a circle. But um, does my yeah I don't have respiration. I could get that and aqua affinity. But I don't do much in water anymore. Do you know what? I'll get that right now. Hello, Zenton. Oh god, streaming and watching Twitch chat is not easy. Let's see, so let's get some emeralds. Just get stuff, rid of the stuff I don't need. Looks to uh, this stream's about um, finishing, well, getting a good amount of the perimeter walls done. So let's see, do we have Aqua Affinity? I forgot, is one the best? I also need. Some respiration. Oh, do we not have respiration? Uh oh. Do we have some over here? We do. Oh, no, we don't. Uh oh. We do have one Aqua Affinity book. Um, hmm. Oh, wait, we do have respiration. Oops. Let's 
just missed it. Go. Easy. And then. Um. Let's see, there's Aqua Affinity. And boom. Where's the anvil? It's about to break. Um. So what should I rename this to? Um, let's see. Uh, yes, of course, a new Shanka. I think that's how it's spelled. Let me look it up. Sean. Yep. Now I am a real Soviet. Oh no, it broke. Um, it's not good. Do we have any anvils over here? Uh, this is actually a single raid farm. Uh, so it's giving us pretty much no iron let's see how much we have hopefully it's enough to make an anvil uh, the entrance is somewhere over here there it is okay that should be enough iron um, no, I don't need this Have a crafting table. Yep. Craft three of these. Go. That's an anvil. And um. Let's see. I'm just gonna. Oops. That's not what I meant to do. Just put an anvil there. And put respiration three. Jeez, twenty one levels. And that's pretty much it. We put the emeralds back and the books back. Okay. So now we've enchanted our gear. Um, Anushanka is, uh, my traditional, uh, Russian hat. It's, it's like usually made out of fur. Um, cause yeah, my current set is pretty much all Russian. It's, um, kind of an inside joke on the server that we're a communist. So all my stuff is pretty much Russian themed. Um, next stream I might turn down the resolution of the stream to um, 720p because I'm looking back at the sh uh, stream replay and when I move around a lot it does lag and it says I have a good internet connection right now so the actual stream is lagging so hopefully I'll fix that next stream so that part's concrete, so now I can come here, fill this in.
480 is pretty low. <laughs> I cannot imagine building this perimeter wall without gravity block duping. That would be a huge pain. Mostly the gravel. Is this the right area? No, it isn't. It's just, oh no. Sometimes when the server lags, the rockets are way more powerful than they're supposed to be. It always throws me off. Um, we were, uh, we couldn't use a automatic, um, sand maker and we could have made it in a, like, a randomized pattern. So it would kind of look like bedrock. But the thing is, since this is going to be our center perimeter, um, we don't want it to be, you know, a quick and simple thing. So we want to just make it custom and make it look nice. So if we're going to make other perimeters, yeah, we'll probably use a automatic wall maker. But this is just our main one. And you would need to use um, flying machines. And yeah, we could do that. Um, but I don't think it's really worth um, doing that because it's not all concrete powder there is some wool in here and we had already started a lot of it so why not Let's see I think this is also concrete Yeah, for the next perimeter, I might actually try designing something that can do complicated patterns. Might be interesting. The only problem I can see with that is it would have to be pretty slow um, because of you need time for the player to pick up the item and make sure they pick it up in the right order. So if you dispense items too fast, the server lag can cause the player to not pick up items and, and then another one can get dispensed and then you have a player pick up two items in the wrong order. <clears throat> yeah, now that I think of it, it wouldn't be too hard to make um, a wall maker that uses concrete powder and makes a pattern. Oh god. Oops. Just, there we go. Feather Falling 3 is the best. And I'm out of concrete again. Definitely not you, Nex. <laughs> Nex needs to make sure that all of his redstone contraptions look as beautiful as they can. His secret motto is form over function. <laughs> Once this is complete, it will actually look pretty cool. Um, next, did finish this in a creative world with all the walls. 
And once we get all the color variations using concrete powder and wool, it actually looks pretty good. Oh, that didn't break. Dang it. So we have this row of concrete next. A smooth landing. If you use Flowin's new World Eater, it's actually not that bad. Um, it's pretty much a perfect perimeter because of how um, World Eater because of how simple it is and it's very fast. Um, the TNT layout it uses, and you can easily stop it and refuel it. The hardest part probably is to make sure all the lava is cleared out in the world, or else that will break it. Yes, I do remember when you didn't take collision damage. That's actually um, why I'm crashing in so much, because the last time I played, there was no collision damage, and I would just smash into walls, and I wouldn't take any damage, but now I keep on forgetting that that happens. But with full diamond prop 4 armor, it's not bad. And I also have totems. Also, I've got a question. Um, what do you guys think about these textures? Uh, it's kind of an experiment right now, doing with most blocks, so some of them don't have it. Um, but it's kind of like an exploit themed texture pack. It uses the same um, effect as we used on the bedrock for the logo. The only problem is there's this really weird thing in bedrock that once you get angled, it starts decreasing the texture quality. So when it's, for example, in your inventory, it becomes super ugly. And see, it becomes very blurry and very hard to distinguish um, some things. And um, some things, yeah, the reason why I added outline is because it actually looks better with the outline. Because if I don't add the outline, um, you can tell where the blocks end and it doesn't create a pretty seam because these pixels don't align. So um, I found that it does look a lot nicer with the outline. No, I thought it was anti-aliasing, but even with it disabled, it does not affect it at all. Oh god, I shot myself. Great. It sucks. A 
so basically anti-aliasing is like a formula that um, makes things look um, like smoother than they actually are so for example if you zoomed into a picture like this um, instead of having these jagged edges it will replace these corner pieces with a color that's in between both of these so it creates a smoother line and um, it does add some lag to your game so and there's different levels of anti-aliasing but it does not change how the texture pack um, becomes smoothened out like that so I don't know what's causing it hmm because I have an AMD GPU so I don't know maybe I can go to the control panel but it is very weird I have 14 viewers right now it's probably I think my record so far um, let me sleep after I finish this hexagon Uh, yes, it will just go on top of the perimeter wall, so it won't be embedded in. It will just be sticking out. Uh, my time zone is Eastern Time. So I usually try to do um, streams and videos later in the day, so most people can see them, which is about... Um, no, I've been in the server since um, it started. Unless you're talking about someone else. Out of concrete. Um, let me just convert this last bit here. Oh no! Hopefully that doesn't. Hopefully that doesn't flow down and ruin some of the other concrete powder Did the water f oh it did flow down here and ruin some of it it's an easy fix um no this is our spawn area so this half of the perimeter is the ticking area so it basically mimics the java spawn chunks and it's always loaded and then 
the other half is where we will just put other stuff um, like farms and uh, we might put our storage system here um, depending on what kind um, if it's a normal storage system it'll lag out the server uh, too much even if it's not doing anything because of all the hoppers if it's binary coded it actually won't lag out the servers um, at all compared to a normal um, item storage so then we can have um, farms in the end dimension and have them um, put the items into the um, the nether portal tiles and with that we can have um, farms automatically feed into our storage which would be actually very cool and that'd be um, something very neat that we could do so next I guess I'll do concrete powder because I have a lot of that Oh, I see what you mean, Mime. Sorry about the misconception. <laughs> Maybe I'm just that one guy. Placeholder blocks. It's the only thing that's good for that block. Oh no, I. Ah, oh, I'm so stupid. I built it at the wrong place. I'm just the guy. <laughs> Hello, Basma. Welcome to the stream. Just pick up some of this. We don't really need it, but it's for lag. So now I need to build it here. Ow. So this, I think it's 256 by 256. Um, if I go any lower, it's too easy to see the pixels. And there's no point in really going any higher because you can't really notice it until you go right up to it.
And the things like concrete powder um, are part of my redstone pack. Um, the thing is that it uses um, some code from Nexus pack. So I cannot release it until he does. Um, he releases his own pack um, for some obvious reasons. Um, so yeah, that is a good question, um, red guy. I would say a binary storage is a lot more fun to design, but from a casual player standpoint, a hopper based one is a lot better. Um, there has only currently been one fully functioning binary storage built ever in Minecraft. Um, I forgot who it was, it, but it's on Java. And um, because they are gigantic and they need to be always loaded or else they can easily break. So it's easier on Java because you can just chunk load. Yes, exactly, Teratar. This is actually Nexus whitelisted and Patreon server. <laughs> I'm just kidding, but yeah, don't don't think that that's actually true. But if you can, you should support Nex. He is a hardworking content creator. out of concrete so I'm just gonna sleep and then get some more concrete powder um next stream I might um stream some binary store designing that'll be next stream though because I want to keep this an exploit stream. Oops, where to go? There it is. Grab some of these. Man, I wish better I can get some of the Java shortcuts. And some of the modern Minecraft ones are nice, like using your scroll wheel to grab some items. And a lot of them do seem pretty trivial. Like, you can't hold down shift click all these items and you have to individually click. And it's annoying. But I'd rather have them fix despawning. Yeah, who says a car droid can't exist? An android can be a car if it wants to. Car droid lives matter. I definitely agree, Teratar. Sometimes they just never go the direction you want them to. No matter how far or how weird of an angle you place them at, they still face the wrong direction. Uh, 
Um, let's see. What should I use? I'll just place this shulker box. Gotten a pretty good amount of the hexagons done. I don't know why my frame rate sometimes dips really low because in game I don't feel any lag at all, but if I look on the stream, it sometimes does freeze a lot, and I have no idea why. I'm like, okay, just dodge my hits. Jesus, this Enderman's insane. Where's he going? Can I aggro him like this? Yep, I can. Wow, he was pretty weak for being that insane. And you... No, die. Um, can I hit you? I guess I'll just hit you. And you will die gloriously. There we go. So, we got one more hexagon up there. Also, another thing I hate about observers is when you clone them or load them with structure blocks, they give off a pulse, so it's super annoying. Um, not that I know of. I feel like it won't be too hard to code in um i don't know exactly how you do it but all slime chunks and bedrock are the same across all seeds it's a way to easily op optimize the game because bedrock is all about optimization Grab some more rockets. So the next area we have to this box here. Wow, I've already been live for over an hour. Time does fly. I should definitely add a lot more music to my stream playlist because I only have a few in there and it probably starts getting repetitive after a while. I guess it's better than nothing, but...
Thank you, Kono. Um, the idea came from Navy Nexus, and I think Jinzu uh, improved the looks a bit by adding some color variation using concrete powder, wool, and concrete. Uh, yes, this is the spawn perimeter. So this half of the perimeter is the ticking area, so it's always loaded. And this other half is just for us to have a nice clean area to build and test some things. Hi. Uh, I do not condone an animal abuse though. It's just a video game. <laughs> um, Gobble Ghost, this is um, the exploit server's spawn perimeter. So basically you can uh, make a perimeter for a couple of reasons. You just want a um, open area to build stuff in um, to reduce uh, mob, sp uh, mob spawns so basically a mob can't spawn if there's nothing for it to spawn um, no a ticking area is in the game um, vanilla it's just slash ticking area um, and then you can do either a square or a circle and there is a limit on how many you can make and how big they can be um, no, we're probably not going to put a quad iron farm there, uh, because iron farms are laggy, so we don't want them to be loaded, take up a bunch of space, and we'll probably put it somewhere else, um, maybe even make a different perimeter, a smaller one, because this is a double-sized perimeter, that's why it's a rectangle. Let me sleep again. Let's see, where should we work on next? Guess over here. We still have a good amount of concrete left. Is this area all lit up? Let me just add some more light just in case. There we go. Should be pretty good up there. Don't want mob spawning here. Over here is pretty dark too. Oh man, it's a lot. It's 
some weird cave formation. And add one here just in case. This is not the right one. There you go. Uh, welcome back. Yeah, I could use Chunky Torch, um, but, um, I don't know, I find it pretty obtrusive. I might go, um, on later and turn it on and just go between the perimeter walls to see if there's anywhere spawnable. But I'll do that off camera. I mean, we could make it 16 by 16. Um, the problem is that would make it very hard to load in the flying machines, and it will double the amount of flying machines. And I mean, then we would only have one corner of the ticking area uh, be a ticking area, um, or we can make the ticking area the center chunks, but then that would make the surrounding chunks really hard to build in. Um, and we can always expand if we feel the need to do that. Oh yeah, about the um the block indicator. Um, gee, let me just do it by hand. It's for some reason creating this green effect. I still don't know how. But yeah, it's my texture pack, and it's pretty annoying that it turns some blocks green. It's not all of them. Actually, it does seem like it used to not do it to all of them. But I'll see if I can fix it. Yes, double the flyers is a lot of extra work, a lot more TNT. And double the things that can go wrong. No, this is 1.14.
There we go, that's one row done. Now the next one would be here. Hello tigers. Yes, Flolin is a exploit member. Yeah, we're low, running low on concrete and we've barely done any of the wall. We still have four sides. It doesn't hurt to run it for a bit. Can I fly up here? want to grab a piece of this netherrack and bring it over here Some more concrete. Hello, Ethan. Yeah, you do need to um, activate cheats to do the ticking area, at least in single player. need this gray concrete anymore because we finished everything that uses that and we can replace it with white is that enderman mad please don't be mad Just sit here for a little bit. Is there no delay between these? I guess we don't need it.
we will upgrade this to a lot faster one. Um, like a lot faster. It uses boats and utilizes the center area. Then we can automatically convert it down to. Why are you mad? Are you mad too? Why are you all mad? Uh oh. Not cool, Enderman. Um, I would say about 90% creative and maybe 80% survival. That is my guess. We just sit here in the water. So you don't aggro. Are you mad? Stop being mad. Anyways, this should be enough concrete. I would say over 90% creative. It's a pretty good amount. Uh oh. Tigers, no. <laughs> Tigers. He built it wrong. Oh well, this would be pretty easy to fix. That one right there. And vert. Oh well. should I do next? Got that hexagon next.
P. Wait, let me change something in the stream. There we go. If you guys already are not in the exploit discord, I re really recommend um, ask uh, joining there. Uh, you can ask all kinds of questions about stuff we do um, or just chat with the members. And you can also get a nice feed of exploit content where we can post stuff so you don't have to worry about missing anything. Although. I didn't really post this stream in the exploit chat. You know what? I'll just post it right now. Let's see. I can just share right here. Copy this. And open Discord. And there you go. Now the streams on the Discord. Hello, Nex. Oh, I'm Nex now. Gotta rechange this. that fix it there we go don't listen to next whatever he's gonna say <laughs> oh, okay he just said hi <laughs> We need a dead bush farm. How else are we gonna get sticks? Craft them? No way. Too lazy for that. I would prefer dying on camera because at least that's one positive thing. Um, I did that in, I think, my exploit video number two. I died from, like, hundreds of silverfish. Someone had broken the torch on the silverfish spawner. And it had kept on spawning more and more. Until they all built up and I hurt one of them and they all spawned at once.
Oh, poor tigers. Once you see it, it's actually pretty easy. Just fill that in, so... Yeah, this BDS skin bug is very annoying. Ow, why did my light just stop? Yeah, that is true. Uh, nothing can spawn there, but eh, why not? Um, this perimeter is just our spawn area, um, so we can have our ticking area, which is an area that mimics the Java spawn chunks, and it's always loaded. Uh, you can set them up with commands, and it's the other half is just an area that we use um, to like just build some farms, and we can have a nice open area. Let's see, we can fill this in right here. I'm just gonna pillar up. Um, some other games I play. Um, for multiplayer, I play uh, Valorant and Rainbow Six Siege. Um, and one of my favorite games of all time is Half-Life 2. It's an old game, but it is, it is gold. Like, there will probably be, there probably won't be a game for a while that has a better story than Half-Life 2. It actually has the same storyline as the Portal series. Let me just change something right here. This wall's starting to get filled up pretty quick. Yes, Half-Life 3 is confirmed to be in the works. They were just waiting for Source Engine 2 to become good enough to be usable. So 
maybe it would be nice if Half-Life 3 and Portal 3 are this pretty much the same game because it is the same storyline. So that'd be cool if they tie it all in together. But that's all up to Valve. Maybe I might even stream Half-Life 3, uh, Half-Life 2 one day. Because I do want to restart it. From the beginning, maybe. I also do have episode 1 and 2. So maybe I'll do that. I don't know. How in interested would you guys be in other games? Just for maybe like chatting so I think is this it no it's one more over I think phew almost messed up Yeah, maybe I'll just maybe do some of that as like filler content. Should have probably grabbed some more concrete. Oh no. Uh oh. Um, crap. My inventory cannot be opened. Hello? Now, now it's working. And I have Nexus skin again. Nexus skin is a curse. do that to me come on come over here yep just a bit farther and you don't have a totem of undying so I thought should probably grab another totem oops not me to put that there and where's my totem box? There it is. Boom. It's got like a little flower pattern now. Uh, okay, so 
so we're missing some concrete there. Let's see, where's Nexus? Concrete boxes. Are they over here? Use it. It's cobblestone. It's wood. Diorite. Why does that even exist? Wood. Oh, there they are. New. All oh, in the desert now. should be concrete if there's if there's concrete powder after this just come in here yeah Ethan um totems are actually very easy to get on bedrock just set up a simple raid farm and you have so many totems that it's just not even funny anymore and they're actually just a pain to sort out Why do I hate diorite? I do love B-dubs, but I do like scale better. I actually personally don't mind diorite too much, um, especially the polish variants and then um, when they updated the textures to the newer ones. The old one was really bad, but the new polished diorite is not too bad if you use it right. It's more of a joke than people actually hating it. So where do we have next? I think we have... Let's see. So this is filled in. These need to be filled in with powder. Also, probably pick up my ender chest. That's just my beacon box. What's in here? Oh, that's the scaffolding placed. So, next we got this one. Just, ow. Hmm, that's weird. same idea so let's just move to a different one here
Hello, Got Carp. Welcome to the stream. And see you later, Ethan. Also, in case anyone was wondering, um, why I have that Kairu 333 black bar at the top, it's because I don't like playing in full screen, so there actually is a black bar up there from, um, because when I'm not in full screen, it, it doesn't record the home button, the home bar where all the task, or the task bar and the top, um, X and stuff, so I can just turn this, I'll show you what it looks like. Um, so if I close it, it's just like a black bar. So to cover that, I just added this. I guess I could make it smaller, but I don't know. Then I also have uh, the viewer count up here. And um, I also do have an alert box when someone subscribes, but it rarely happens during stream. I also do have stream chat on, but it's not working for some reason. So I have it turned off. I don't know why it's not working, but oh well. Actually, let me change something again. Why is that not working? There it goes. Come on, rain. There we go. Let's see, where else do we have to do? Over here will be powder too. Some more concrete powder and a rock block. Um, three, three, three. Um. It's because it was my favorite number. Uh, well, three is my favorite number. And, you know, three kind of felt plain. So I decided to add um, three threes. So, like, maybe like. So that, that was like, you know, like double of my lucky number. And that's why I have 333. Because some things I need a username that's not taken. So I use that number. Oh yeah, that, it's a BDS bug, um, and it's really annoying. The only way you can fix it is go down to edit character. I think if you come down to here, there you go. So whenever you see like other people on servers um, constantly going into um, their chat and saying, oops, um, like that they've changed their skin, that's usually the reason why. Uh, what did Nick say? Was that 60%? Wow, 60%. That's a pretty good percentage. I think mine is about 70. Land in here. Should wait, where was I trying to land? 
hot tier. Oh well. Uh, no. So, we're using three different colors. Uh, if you might be able to see in the thumbnail, maybe not. Um, but we're going to use concrete powder, concrete, and wool. And it creates a very, very slight difference in color between all of the hexagons. And it makes it look um, less repetitive and adds a lot more um, depth and detail. So, some of these are concrete and some of these are concrete powder. So, oh. Jinzu left. Okay, stream hit two hours. Don't have too much time left, so I don't know how long this stream will continue. Jinzu. Okay, so I have that left. If I can fly. some more let's get the shulker box out scrap all of the concrete through a lot of this every time I go to the end I grab some obsidian from the obsidian farm it's a bit annoying but oh well Let's see do we have some more here yep over to the walls. It's gonna be a pretty big um, perimeter. You might want to do um, your perimeter at sections so you can keep all the flyers loaded or else you're going to need multiple alt accounts to load that uh, area actually no wait you have simulation distance of eight so you actually don't need that just have one account in the middle on a boat and you should be fine good luck on your perimeter
tigers is above me. I was wondering where that was coming from. This stream is definitely a lot more successful. Um, hmm, where should we build the wolf farm? I think the end would be nice if we can... Okay. Maybe we can build the final one in the end once we, if we put the storage system in the ticking area, then we can automatically send items into it. So next is this hexagon, which is a funky one. Yeah, that is weird. Hello, welcome to the stream. Thank you. I'm glad you like them. It does look pretty cool with the wool parts empty. But oh well. We can just stick to the design. How am I gonna get out of here? So let's place a block here. Because it does look like a soccer ball. Soccer ball perimeter? To the soccer ball perimeter is exactly what we're going for. Max. Oh, I just fell down, I guess. That was weird. Fun fact, today I gave a blood donation, and I almost passed out, because I stood up too quickly. That was fun. Oh yeah, fun fact, the first time me and Nyx found each other was on Whispercraft, 
and we fought a lot. Yeah, we fought a lot over territory and stuff. <laughs> and I mean a lot. But now we're all fine and chill. <laughs> Walrus and Sauron are both good. Um, how I get my music is, um, so there's a YouTube audio library where you can find music, um, and, uh, it's non-copyrighted usually. Um, there are two categories, ones that you don't have to, um, put, um, there, the link of the video of the song in the description, and ones that you do. I prefer, um, ones that you just can use them without giving credit. Um, it's a lot easier and simpler, but usually there's um, not as good quality songs. But yeah, you should definitely check out the YouTube audio library if you're a content creator. That's how I get um, uh, my uh, music into the stream, and then I use Streamlabs um, version of OBS, which is a streamer-friendly version of the classic OBS studio that has some built-in features like um, chat replay notifications, um, adding music, and like things like viewer counts. And yeah, it's very uh, it's a very neat thing. So I use both uh, normal and Streamlabs OBS. This with some concrete powder, I think. Yep. Oh, I wonder why. You had forgot what they were called. Um, I need to ask this question. I think it has to be. Because I'm curious. That's, I think, the first Navy Nexus video I watched before Navy Nexus was a um, technical streamer. I'm a technical content creator. Uh, see you later, Kono.
Ah, I can't fly. Smiley face. Ah. If I can finally stick this landing, there's no back area, so it's a bit harder. Finally. Nope. Ah. You know, I'm just going to pillar up. I don't know why my stream is lagging on YouTube because on the recording software it's going perfectly smoothly and on YouTube it says I have a good internet connection so I have no idea at all why my stream lags sometimes it's weird For some re people, it seems like it's lagging. Uh, like on my screen, I'm having very low frame rates on my preview. And I don't know why it happens to some people, but not others. It may be just um, YouTube lagging on my side. Um, or on other people's screens because uh, when I'm recording and I watch YouTube it lags and um, there's low frame rates oops just put a stack in here some more sand but yeah if you guys um, aren't lagging that's good should probably put this in a different order Sucks. 
Oh. How am I gonna put that up there? Um, let's see. Can I place that from here? There we go. And my elytra didn't activate. I think it's just my computer lagging because it's streaming and playing a game at the same time. Because that's the only thing that really makes sense. Oh, and I forgot this one too. Dang it. And I'm almost out of rockets again. How did I miss that? That was like perfect. Just gotta go in slow. No, no. Oh my god. Oh, it did fill in. Yay. Spam is the best. And I'm out of rockets. Grab some more. Burns through rockets so quickly. There we go. Let's fly up again. Two by two trees have very weird growth requirements. They're directional and they don't really make that much sense, but it does allow for some pretty cool tree farms. Why is it not growing? Hmm. Maybe just, just replace them? Some more bone meal.
see, do we have any, I mean we have this. Do we have any other, I thought we had some shulker boxes of bone meal from. Let's see, where's mob drops? Um, mob drops, mob drops. Somewhere. Uh, am I blind? Or do we not have it anymore? Ah, here it is. Do we have any... Guess we don't have bone meal. Huh. Yeah, there wasn't any shulker boxes of um, uh, bone meal, only bone blocks. I thought we had a, just a big shulker box of them. Oh, where are the phantoms? Die. Oh my god, I stuck in aiming. No, sorry, tigers. I didn't think that would hit him. Man. Come on. Uh, I guess this is a northwest. We just remove the star oak tree again. So Kenny, this is a spawn perimeter. Um, so it's just, it's a double perimeter. So this area of the perimeter is always loaded with a ticking area. Um, and then the other half is just an area that we can use to just build some stuff. And it's a nice open area. So we're currently just making, finishing up the walls. back Jinsu. Let's see where was I working on? Up here. Let's see, we don't need this. 
this, we don't need this. Um, let me just get my flint steel and bye. Just sleep. There we go. Actually, guys, I'm actually out of time for the stream. So, thank you everyone for watching. Um, see you in the next Redstone video or stream. See you guys. video or stream see you guys